This one requires a little bit of effort. Uh, it's not something that we've seen uh, too many times, I wouldn't think. Uh, but we're going to have to foil this side and then move this stuff over. And it'll be a quadratic equation on that side of the, uh, of the equal sign. And so if we have some room to maneuver here, I'm going to foil this thing out. That's a 2x squared. The outer is a minus 4x. The inner is a minus 3x. And the last, a negative 3 times a negative 2 is a plus 6. Uh, if I move these guys over in the same step, I'm going to add 12x to both sides, and I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides, right? Negative 18 cancels here, but I end up with a negative 18 there on this side if I can move it all over. And then it's equal to 0. So i got a lot of cleaning up to do. I only have an x squared, the 2x squared. I have a lot of x's, though. Okay, I have uh, negative 3x or negative 7x, plus 12, so that's a plus 5x. And then I have 6 minus 18, that's a negative 12. And that's equal to 0. Okay. Uh, this will factor, um, but it might take you a couple steps. Okay, We've done the diamond uh, followed by the box, but the diamond needs to be produced by multiplying those. You get your negative 24x squared. Take your 5x on the bottom. Two numbers multiply to get that, add together. Uh, multiply to get that, add together to get that. Um, 24 has a lot of options, but only 8 and 3 add together to get 5, and that's only if 8x is positive and 3x is negative. Now those are not my factors. Because there's a coefficient in front, we have to go then to our box. Or, oh, I'm sorry, we, the box, old habit. Um, we now go to the matching, or the, uh, the grouping. Okay, and so this is 2x squared. Uh, plus 8x and then minus 3x and then minus 12. So um, I've taken these two items and replaced that 5x in the middle with these two guys here. Now if we group them together, I take out a 2x, I have an x plus 4 left. If I take out a negative 3, I have an x plus 4 left. So that means my two factors, if I take out the x plus 4s, I'm left with a 2x minus 3. And my solutions then, if they're both equal to 0, set that equal to 0. I have a negative 4 as one solution. And I add 3 to both sides. 2x equals 3. Divide by 2. Um, 3 over 2 is the solution. Okay. Over here, just so that we address it, you can kind of finish it on your own. Um, if you rewrote this as x minus 2 to the 2 thirds power, uh, equals 16, what I would suggest is raising it to the 3 over 2 power. Um, 3 over 2, then you're taking the square root of 16, which is equal to 64, and then you're, I'm kidding, I'm jumping to the end. The square root of 16 is actually 4, and then if you cube it, it would be equal to 64. So the final solution is 64. That was a bonus, I don't think that's on the, the key. Okay.